heat conduction through a large plane wall such as the wall of a house. In these and many other geometries can be approximated as being one-dimensional, since heat conduction through these geometries will be dominant in one direction. Consider a thin element of thickness delta x in a large plane wall as shown here. Assume the density of the wall is rho, the specific heat is C, and the area of the wall normal to the direction of heat transfer is A. And this is the direction of heat in each side and the energy generated in the volume element. An energy balance on this thin element during a small time interval delta T can be expressed in right. So we know that the rate of heat transfer at x and x plus delta x is q dot, the rate of heat generation is g dot, and the rate of change of the energy content of the element is the change in the energy of the element per unit time. The rate of heat generation within the element can be expressed as, and the same thing to the change in the energy of the element can be expressed like follow. Substituting into balance equation, we get and dividing by a delta x gives, since from the definition of the derivative and Fourier's law of heat conduction, and taking the limit as delta x and delta t to zero yields this form of the energy balance. Noting that the area A is constant for a plane wall, the one-dimensional transient heat conduction equation in a plane wall for variable conductivity becomes the thermal conductivity K of a material in general depends on the temperature and therefore X, and thus it cannot be taken out of the derivative. However, the thermal conductivity in most practical applications can be assumed to remain constant at some average value. The equation above in that case reduces to where the property alpha is the thermal diffusivity of the material and represents how fast heat propagates through a material. It reduces to the following forms under specified conditions. And that's all about heat conduction equation in a large plane wall.